I'm Coop, this is another modified Nerf Strife. I'll go over the internal mods, paint job, and then show you what firing. Starting with the internal modifications. Nothing I haven't done before. I did not remote motor replace this one. I took out the electronic and mechanical locks, including the motor resistors and thermistor in the rear, which allows you to use truss fires. I'm currently running three truss fires plus one dud battery. If you do the same modifications, I would recommend running three and not four, because four truss fires can potentially burn out your motors eventually. I've also uh, filed down and lubricated bits of the trigger neck in order to make that really, really smooth. So and pull it, it's very, very light. Um, the strife trigger pull is probably the best trigger pull um, out of the flywheel guns, but with the exception of like an electronic one like the rapid strike. Um, but modifying it even further, it's just really smooth. Very happy with the internal modifications. I've done all of these before, um, and that's it for the internals. Going over the paint job, I started with a black vinyl dye primer, and then I have a Krylon green. Uh, this is not a vinyl dye or a brush paint, it is a spray. Um, I had to do three very, very light coats to make this look pretty um, and very clear, I mean, um, so it's pretty smooth. And then I have a, a matte duplicolor wheel um, or automotive wheel, like for the tires, not for the tires, of course, but the wheel. Um, it's clear coat, so it's a very high quality clear coat. It's very smooth and very happy with the paint job. Uh, the finish is fantastic. I did leave the internal components unpainted for perfect function. I say that all the time. That what that means is I don't like little buttons, the little in strike clip, and all of the little moving things not to be worn down over time. They would look bad if you paint them. The paint will eventually scratch in it. It slows down the trigger pull. And I like to paint my stuff to look cool, but not at the expense of having the function degraded at all. Um, so I don't paint the internal so it functions just like a stock strife, well with the exception of the internal mods because it, it rocks uh, stock stripes pretty hard. I'll show you the blast for firing. <laughs> tested the strife and I won't range test the strife. It's um, just a voltage ramped strife. I'm very happy with the performance though, it's shooting really hard. Um, the only way you could advance it further is to replace the motors and then run, uh, run at a higher voltage or at least more power, current or voltage. Um, yeah, I went with the retaliator stock. So you can see it's still detachable, just like a normal retaliator stock would be, um, just because it's very streamlined, very small, not any more than you really need. Um, you don't need a stock on a Nerf gun because there's no recoil, um, but having a really little gun is a little harder to wield just because it's a little awkward, and you have something to sort of base it on, and that'll be your shoulder, of course. So that's it for the Strife. I'm very happy with the modifications. This blaster is actually for sale on my web store, along with um, some other new blasters. So there's a link in the description box if you're curious to buy those. I do ship internationally, and the rates are listed. Um, send me an email. Email's listed in the description box, just in case you have any questions or um, you uh, about the sale. That's it. Thanks for watching.